Yes, 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 you've read it right. I'm taking up the challenge into joining the analog versus digital discussion. And I'm starting with this video. Is it worth the discussion at all? Well, I think it is. I browse the web a lot and I read a lot of comments. Not only from my own video, but I also read comments on other videos. I read comments on Facebook, on Instagram. I even read forum posts. And yes, they do still exist, forums. Actually, a lot. I read a lot of, well, mostly misconceptions about analog equipment. And I don't understand those misconceptions about analog because they are completely against the experience I have myself with the analog equipment. So that makes me think that 90% of all those comments are actually from keyboard junkies who are joining the gossiping and parroting that happens a lot in audio engineering. Because let's be honest, a lot of audio engineers are just parrots. And to be honest, my own thoughts about analog equipment were the same as the most comments I read right now before I started my job as an audio engineer. I thought analog didn't matter anymore at all. Until someone, and that someone was George of course, showed me what the power was of analog equipment. And there's more to it than just the sound. So that's why I'm starting this series. I want to give you the same experience as I had when I first started working with analog equipment. And I also want to give you my own perspective on a lot of misconceptions around analog gear. So the first four subjects I will be talking about in this video series is reliability, workflow, sound and costs. If some of you also have an idea for a subject for this video series, leave them in the comments below and I will consider making a video about that as well. For now, if you want to follow the discussion, make sure to follow this playlist. There isn't really like a function in YouTube, but keep a close eye on this playlist where this video is in and I will try to post the videos in the next following weeks. So I want to be really clear. I want to achieve two things. I want to give insight and I want to share my perspective on the most misconceptions. I'm not making these videos to convert people to analog or something as if it were a religion, because it isn't. So with that being out of my head, I want to thank you all for watching this video. Leave your ideas in the comments below. Check out my Patreon and my other videos over here. And let's wait for about a week for the first video about the reliability of analog equipment. For now, I want to say bye bye.